Hello, this is Victoria, the creator over here at Golden Goodies, and today we are back with another video. As you can see, we are going to be making some beautiful swirled melt and pour soap. So let's check it out. Okay, so as you can see, I am starting out with my melt and pour soap already melted. I am using a clear aloe base and a white shea butter base the clear aloe is in the picture to the right and the other two pictures have the shea butter melt and pour base so right now i'm going to measure the temperature they're all around 103 to 106 so we really want to be pouring at around 102 to 104 that's like a perfect temperature because the key to the game with swirling melt and pour soap is patience once you heat your melt and pour soap up in the microwave you have to really give it time to cool down when it first comes out it might be like 125 135 depending on how you how long you put it in the microwave for so you really want to give it time to cool down until it gets around like i said 102 to 104 so uh, I started off with pouring my clear melt and pour base. I'm starting off with that. And then I'm just going to go down the middle with the white. Now really you can do this any way you want to. You can go straight, you can go zigzag, kind of do it how you want to do it. But I only want to put a little bit in there because then I want to come back with a, another color and put that on top of the white. The main reason why we want to make sure the soap is cooled down is because when we're pouring these colors on top of each other and into each other, we want to make sure they don't muddle together. Like we don't want it to be all one big mixture of one blue because they all mixed together and made a completely different color. The point of swirls is to have the colors stay separate. So that's why we need to really make sure that we're letting the mixture cool down. If you start pouring and it looks like the colors are just mixing together, that means you need to stop and wait and give yourself a little more time to cool down. As you can see, I am stirring my soap here. We want to make sure we're constantly stirring the soap throughout this process because as we're pouring the soap, the temperature is steadily dropping so the soap is solidifying. As the temperature drops, it's going to get harder and harder to stir. So, uh, I mean, there is a easy enough solution. If it gets too hard, you just have to pop it back in the microwave for about 10 seconds. Uh, but then just be cautious because you do have to make sure that the soap cools down because we don't want that issue that I spoke about earlier with the colors just mixing together. So I'm spraying alcohol in between uh, that keeps the bubbles to a minimum and kind of stops the soap from like moving around so it can stay in one place. So with this soap, I was going for large swirls like I wanted big chunks of different colors throughout the other color. So um, as I pour, I'm pouring large amounts of soap at one time, but if you want a lot of small swirls, you can just pour a small amount of soap at a time. So just a little of the aqua blue, and then right next to it, put some white, and you can do it like that. It just takes a little bit longer, a little more tedious, but it can be done. But me, I like big swirls as you saw in the preview of the video and this is how you attain big swirls
now that the soap is fully poured we're going to give it a full 24 hours to sit in the mold and then we're going to unmold it all right it is time to unmold this baby and let's see Ooh, i'm loving it i love how the clear blue is at the bottom and then it gets all like cloud like and wispy at the top okay so we have to see how this cut looks in case you were wondering, this is the Body of Water Yanni Soap that I offer on my website at www.goldkissedessentials.com. It is formulated for feminine health. It'll keep your pH on point and boost your libido. Wink, wink. But anyway, let's get into these swirls, which a look at that i couldn't have imagined a better swirl it looks so beautiful it's exactly what i was going for so typically i make these yanni bars with only one color i'll do the clear blue and then the white but for dramatic effect i wanted to use a secondary color so you can really get the effect of the swirl Each soap has its own unique swirl pattern. So I'm just gonna go through and cut the soap and show you all what the swirls look like. And now for the photo shoot. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please hit that like button and the subscribe button. And I will be back with some more videos next week. Thank you.